What's up guys, this is Cody here, and today we're going to be doing another top 5 iOS games that you definitely have to try for yourself. Now, I asked you guys if you wanted to turn this into a series, so here we are. Now, I'm also going to be doing another top 5 iOS app video as well, coming very soon, so if you guys want to check that out, be sure you're subscribed if you're not already. But, let's go ahead and jump into this list. First up, we have a game called Dofus Pogo, which is a pretty weird name, but I love this game. It reminds me a whole lot of Bubble Shooter, which was one of the very first games that I ever played on a phone. So basically, you're these bird-like creatures, and you're trying to defend this egg-like thing that's on the ground from being destroyed. Now, the way to defend it is by throwing these birds into the falling creatures above. And you're able to ricochet enemies into one another, and you're able to throw these at different angles. And when you do, it's actually going to show the trajectory path, which comes in really handy. So it gets really fast-paced and hard pretty quick, but it's free, so definitely worth checking out. Here we have OKKO, OK which is a pretty cool game and made by the Cartoon Network, so obviously the cartoon graphics are pretty legit. Now, this game has a lot of story, and within the first 10 minutes or so, it literally had me busting out laughing, which is pretty uncommon for games. But the cartoon graphics look really great with really bright and clean colors, and the gameplay isn't too bad either. You're basically this kid named K.O., and you're running around fighting robots and saving heroes in order to rebuild the town, which was just blown into pieces. You have an array of different moves like slide kicking, punching, throwing, and pounding on the ground, and you have to use these different types of moves in order to kill specific enemies. So if you're looking for a game with some good storytelling, definitely check this out. Next is Hopshot. This is a brand new game that has a really simple objective. Basically, you're just going to hop on these platforms and go as far as you can without falling into the water. You hold down on the screen to launch your little creature over to the platform, and it seems simple enough until the platforms start moving and you're having to time the jump correctly, which can sometimes be a pain. You can unlock different little creatures, uh, but the overall gameplay doesn't change whatsoever. They don't have different abilities or anything like that. But this is definitely one of those games that you can kill some time with. Right now, my high score is 66, so let me know if you can beat that. All is Lost is another new game that is pretty addicting. You're a space girl or a space dude, and you're trying to run through a ship that is going to be destroyed. Now, the controls are simple, and you can jump, roll, and do various interactions like opening doors, moving cranes, closing floor tiles, and moving walls out of the way just by swiping in the correct direction. Now, it gets pretty tough in later stages because you're having to interact with objects actually a step ahead of the next action that you need to take. So, for instance, if you were going to jump to a uh, moving platform, you actually have to move the platform before you jump to it. So, things like that can get pretty uh, hectic pretty quick when you're already moving at a pretty quick pace. But this is definitely a lot of fun and I can see easily getting hooked. Now, last but not least, we have a strategy game called Battle Hand. Now, it's a much different game than the other games in this lineup in the fact that it's a whole lot less of a pick up and put down kind of game and a more of a get immersed in this world kind of game. You basically start out as a wizard with a small amount of spells and you continually upgrade your spells and recruit new team members in order to make your squad stronger. Elemental spells come into play here where enemies have strengths and weaknesses towards particular ones and each spell or action takes a certain amount of turns depending on the strength of the attack or spell. Not to mention the graphics and animations are awesome. This is definitely worth a shot if you're into strategy games. Alright guys, that's all I have for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you smack that like button. I would really appreciate it. And of course, if you beat my top score on Hopshot, which was 66, either send me a screenshot on Twitter or let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, I will see you in the next one. 